I'm going to do F, P, and E first, and then we'll go back to A because A is the most um, subjective, right? And so I feel like the other three are more objective. So free is free. So again, that means that any student, irregardless of their abilities, um, has the right to free education. They shouldn't have to, they should not be required to pay to be educated. Public is public education. So again, all students, irregardless of their abilities, has the right to attend um, and access public educational systems. They cannot be, you know, um, denied access based on their, you know, labels or what have you. And um, education is education. So again, I feel like they're kind of redundant in that respect, but they have the right to be educated. They can't be institutionalized or kept out of the educational system because they are quote unquote, you know, incapable of learning or, you know, have too significant of a delay. Any student, irregardless of their abilities, has the right to be educated and have access to education. Now, appropriate is everyone's least favorite word, um, I think, within the law as a whole, because it's so subjective and you know, it's changed over time. Um, Andrew F. obviously, I think the most recent really put some clarity to it and made it um, become meaningful progress. But it really is that students have to have access to what is appropriate for them and their needs and that the education that they're accessing should um now provide meaningful benefit, but be appropriate to where they're at, be ambitious and challenging enough to um, promote progress. And just um, that it's, you know, appropriate for, for who they are, it needs to be individualized and in ensuring that they're able to progress, um, you know, as they're moving through their education. And who determines what appropriate means during an IEP? I mean, the whole IEP team, right? So there's pieces to the law that state, and again, after certain case law has come out, that it needs to be proved meaningful benefit. So I think that's really the key lingo when we're talking about that A, that appropriate piece is, is are these goals providing meaningful benefit or is this program or this IEP as a whole um, providing meaningful benefit to my child if you're the parent in the room?